So I gotta, I gotta give a big shout out. His name's probably printed out everywhere in here. His name's Louis, Luigi's. He's the man, uh, I'm very grateful for him. I met him a few years back when he was a great artist, but nowhere how he is now. And uh, I gave him a chance to say, hey, come in here and spray. I just want art. Our gym is called the X House. So we decided to do a majority of X-Men on this wall. I like that. Uh, ah. Yeah, so. I'm just putting that together. So. Uh, just, and then we put the Mortal Kombat scene because this is where all the fight stuff goes down. So I was like, oh, Sub-Zero versus Scorpion. Got to put the fight, oh, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, we got, uh, got his name. That's Dr. Doom. We got Joker, we got Magneto, we got Cyclops, Wolverine, we have Jean Grey, Storm, Green Lantern, we have Thanos, we Thanos. have Deadpool, and we have Bane all the way in the corner. Our fun equipment over here where we'll set up hurdles, speed sticks, um, we have a vertical jumping test to see how high somebody jumps. It's the same exact one they utilize in the NFL Combine. Um, and so everything here is, we'll utilize and pull onto the turf. We have balance beams uh, over here. I'm a big fan of this bad boy. It's our aqua bag. So, uh, shout out to Eddie in New York. Uh, we, we got this bag from him. It has a sensor on it. It allows us to see how much force you put out in every single punch. This bag is filled with water, 190 pounds. And we're able to collect data with this sensor and find out, hey, how many punches per minute are you throwing? How much force are you putting out? And then estimated caloric expenditure. From there, this is our turf area. Um, I'm really, I'm a big fan of these uh, bad boys. Uh, this is our slide board area. We utilize this to generate lateral power. Okay, so we have like these little shoe buoys that go on and then you slide back and forth. We also work with uh, Vertimax. Vertimax is pretty cool. Uh, we take this, we put a uh, 360 belt around the body and the client is able to run out over 40 to 50 yards with co constant resistance. From there is our mat area. This is where, uh, big shout out to Coach James. He's our MMA instructor. We do a lot of our grappling uh, in our MMA kickboxing classes. We also do a lot of our dynamic warmups and foam rolls and stretches on this mat. It's super soft on the body. It's two inches of uh, judo foam by Zebra. It's the best in the business. Uh, from there, we have our Rogue Echo Bikes. We have our Concept 2 equipment, which are our skiers. These, uh, these rowers, they lay down. Um, and then we have our skiers here. Uh, we have our sandbags. We got our bathroom here with a shower just for that busy individual. We have honestly the best sound system in any gym known to man. Uh, there's no other sound system in this entire city that can keep up with the power of this bad boy. From there, we have our rogue belt squat, belt attachment. Some of you guys are gonna know what that is. Some of you guys will not. If you wanna know more, come in and try it. We have all our resistant bands. We have a endless pulling rope, okay? Develop a little bit of pulling conditioning. So you'd sit back and just do some pulling. It never stops. You can set any type of resistance. From there's all our bumper plates, our benches. We have our center mass bells, which are really interesting. You don't see these a lot in uh, traditional gyms. The center mass bells, which are really cool, you have your dumbbells where the weight is loaded on the sides, and then you have your kettlebells that are loaded on the bottom. These, uh, these bells, the weight is loaded completely around. Hmm. It's pretty cool, a little different. And they go through all ranges. We utilize our Dynamax uh, balls for ballistic movements, okay? So explosive movements. Uh, and then we have all our dumbbells. This is where we calculate everybody's heart rate. Right now, in our facility, these are the top 20 that have the most effort for the mar month of March, okay? So uh, from one all the way to 20, these are their MEPS. MEPS is how much effort per session and how consistent they've been over the months. Shout out Juggernaut. Yeah, shout out Juggernaut. <laughs> shout out to everybody on that board. From you. here, <laughs> from here we have all our band bells. These are pretty cool. They're made out of straight bamboo. We utilize bands to create a, 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 a stability bar. Okay, so the bar actually tends to shake. Uh, it's almost like an earthquake. Huh. Um, we have a single arm one here. We have our maces. Uh, this is our, our X House facility rules. Okay, much love. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take pride in the weight, weight room, take pride in your work. Um, from there's our bench. We actually utilize this open space to develop, uh, we'll do some med ball work uh, to develop ballistic power. From there, we have our deadlift platform. Uh, we have so many different types of bars that you can utilize. And we'll take you in the office. Big shout out to everybody on that board at some point in time or right now, current, they were a part of our team. 
Okay, we actually have to get another another wall. We, we fill that space up, but everybody on that wall is our blood, man. So big thank you. All those people support science. <clears throat> From there, we have all types of really cool uh, tools. We have a, you guys have seen a foam roller. We have a vibrating foam roller here by uh, Hyperice. It's pretty cool. You can roll under it and it, it sends like a little vibration. It needs a little bit of a charge though. Um, we have our fit light system, which we're able to do some reaction uh, drills and cognitive performance. This is really, really important here. Uh, we utilize this a lot with our combat athletes, but I think everybody can take advantage. One of the least strengthened areas is the neck. This is a neck strengthening activity. So you put it around your head, you work all your emotions. A lot of people have pain in their neck. We do a lot of neck strengthening with this bad boy, the iron neck. Uh, from there, we uh, big shout out to Recovery Reboot. Okay, so this system here, um, we actually will set somebody up on a chair they can put their legs, feet, hip inside, and it utilizes a compression technology that allows somebody to recover faster. Uh, we also have our compacts, compact system here, uh, our ice, uh, ice therapy. Uh, we also have heat therapy. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, this is awesome. If you guys like David Goggins, this is huge. Believe in yourself. I, I, I love all the cussing, but some people don't. So believe in yourself. <laughs> Stay up all night. Work outside of your... Hey, let's talk. Work outside of your <gasps> habits. No one <gasps> speak up. <gasps> Collaborate. Don't <gasps> procrastinate. Get over your <gasps> self. Keep <gasps> learning. Form follows no. function. A computer is a light bright for bad <gasps> ideas. Find <gasps> inspiration everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. Network. Educate. Ask for <laughs> help. Make it <laughs> sustainable. Question <laughs> everything. Have a what? concept. Learn to take some <laughs> criticism. Make me <laughs> care. Use <laughs> spell check. Do your wow. research. Sketch more ideas the problem contains the solution and think about all the possibilities exactly. yeah. wow so, is, that, is that right from the man <laughs> no it's not yeah, this is something that really uh, that's something he would say yeah so <laughs> you know just in case one day uh you're not feeling uh it's your day you come in here read some of this stuff it gives you a little hard check to the gut we also have a lot of MMA memorabilia around, as you can see, that's all been autographed. We've worked with uh, Beyond the Cage, where these fighters autograph this uh, material. Uh, they send it to us, and we actually worked with Beyond the Cage to sell this and give the money, 100% of the proceeds, to people that are less fortunate. Nice. nice. So, uh, from there, I'm really excited. This is one of our newest pieces here. This is a in-body 570. It is the gold standard of body composition, okay? Uh, we are able to see how much water you retain in your cells, how much dry lean mass you have, body fat mass, weight, skeletal muscle mass, body fat mass, your BMI, your percent body fat, and then it also, uh, you get it by body part. So we'll be able to see right arm, left arm, trunk, right leg, left leg, and then we develop a full form that the client is able to take home that looks like this, okay, with a bunch of data. It's actually a, one that actually has a little bit of print look on it. Um, and they're able to take that home and utilize that, okay, to increase their fitness and make positive health changes. So it's not only about weight. If their weight increased, but their body fat decreased and their skeletal muscle mass increased, you're doing the right thing. <laughs> I, I've invested a lot of time and resources. I'm huge on education into all these different types I've done everything in this nation when it comes to learning for some of the great people in this world, you know? So, uh, USA track coach, Olympic weightlifting, uh, certified functional strength coach, and Mike Boyle, performance enhancement specialist. I, I also have my bachelor's in sports medicine. Um, I, I did a very great, my favorite was my mentorship with EXOS. I stayed out there for an entire month to learn their systems. Uh, I would also have to say another one of my favorites was DBC's biomechanics uh, certification. This is the same facility that LeBron James trains at in Miami. Yep. Um, also too, uh, when I graduated, I thought this was imp important. Uh, I wanted everybody to be a savage uh, and educate, inspire, succeed. So under there, you'll see it says be a savage. Okay, a couple years ago, uh, I actually was on my, uh, I was on my LinkedIn. I don't even use LinkedIn, but I saw a Forbes representative on there and they invited me to come out to Forbes 30 under 30. So that was a very grateful experience. I got to go to Boston and learn from some of the greatest people on the planet for an entire week. It was one of our biggest highlights. Oh, they actually made a little magazine cover for me too a couple years oh, ago. Uh, yeah, so uh, I mean, it's insane. It was uh, for business on, uh, owners 30 under 30. Uh, it was huge. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things that we did uh, years back uh, we actually got a National Health uh, Month of Fitness, Health and Sports passed in the city. Uh, we got this uh, 
This proclamation passed in Port St. Lucie, Stewart, Fort Pierce, and all of Martin County. So big thank you to all the mayors that were involved and allowed this to happen. And big thanks to our team, because without them, this would never have happened. We had a full packed house uh, when it was for Port St. Lucie. I mean, there must have been like 300 people there when I had to stand in front of that mayor and uh, tell him how important this is for our city. And as you can tell today, uh, I mean, you look, there's fitness parks now. You got fitness, uh, you got uh, fit uh, events at the Civic Center. I mean, it, sh it still has a lot of time to grow, but it's growing. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Third Point of View Podcast. We have the pleasure right now of sitting down with Victor Rivera, or like the world likes to refer to him as, his trainer Vic. Trainer Vic. How's it going, brother? Good, how you guys doing? Good, good, doing good. good. How, you doing? Good. how, you doing? how you doing, brother? Good, good. good to sit All down right. with you, man. We same, appreciate same. you taking the time to sit down with us. Um, so as you see, this is this is the, the home, so to speak, of of this gentleman. Um, Project X. <laughs> Project, Project X. X. And what was that? We were speaking earlier off camera. Uh, what, what was that term that he called it? That you, uh, Oh, Performance Center. Yes. Yeah, yeah, performance so. Center. I love that. Because it is. It is. I mean, you look at all the equipment here. Um, and I, I've known you for a long time. And I remember when you first opened this gym. And it looks completely different. I mean, I love the progression, the upgrading. And so when, what year did you open this? When did you start? Oh, man. Um, I started a little over 10 years ago. Um, wow. Here at this location, we're at uh, six years now. Um, and we, I mean, we started outdoors. Really? And uh, I knew this was a passion of mine. I just didn't know at the time that this was going to be something that I did for my career, yeah, you know? Yeah. So um, I actually thought in the beginning, I was like, oh, I wanted to be a police officer. I liked space, um, nice. but this was actually, this was always attached to my life somehow. Yeah, it just was like, it was like at the time, 10 years ago, I never thought this was be, would be something I could do. Really? Yeah, I mean, now fitness, in my opinion, has blown up. I mean, you got gyms popping up everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and at the time I was just like, I do this because I love it. I love the way I feel. Um, I get to help people. And who doesn't like to move, you know? So, and then within time, uh, you know, being outdoors, I, I uh, got a couple opportunities at a few other places. And, and then from there, I, I just knew that this was it. Wow. This was going to be my life. So, so I, 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 you could go on Instagram. Your yeah. Instagram title is? It's uh, at Trainer Vic. And then our facility is at the X House. At the X House. At yeah. The X House. So you can see you working with multiple classes. How many sessions did you, do you hold a day? Um, so we actually offer, we have multiple sessions throughout the day. We have our class settings, um, which we offer uh, six classes. Uh, we have a morning block and an evening block. So uh, you have your 5.30, 6.30, and 9.30. And then we have a block midday. Uh, and then we have a 5.30, 6.30, and an 8 p.m. And then we have our multiple wow. semi-private settings throughout the day. Wow. So on top of that. Yeah, yeah. on top of that. Because when you started this, you were by yourself. You did this oh, yeah. alone. Yeah. So you did all <laughs> six sessions? Yeah, so actually, uh, we actually uh, had more sessions back then. We actually were running about, I would say, eight to nine. Uh, I mean, it was wow. intense. I was, I was doing 15, 16, 17-hour days, uh, sleeping at the gym. I mean, it was intense. I, I put everything into this. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times people don't see that, you know, right, they see, right, yeah. they just see now. Right. And um, I just knew, you know, the, the thing is you have to work hard. You have right. to, you got to find it. And, yeah. and I was also trying to find exactly what niche I wanted to go around this. Right, right, and right. I just loved working with people. I'd be tired. Somebody walks in and then somehow I'd you know, boost you it get up. that little shot yeah. in your arm. It, it, yeah. yeah. Because you feel that, that, yeah. that you're going to help them out. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 And so then they come in and then, uh, you know, you, you, all that energy comes in again and it's like, it would keep me alive and going, but you know, long term, that's just not a sustainable way to live doing 18, 19 hours a day, no matter what somebody says. Right. I mean, right. your own health right. is important. Right. And exactly. a lot of people in our field are unhealthy themselves or just in business in general because of how much their business drives them and drives their life. So right. I wanted to uh, find a balance. So we did cut down on classes and now my days are a lot more productive. So, nice. you know, you, you get two people, right? And you got the one person that works 25 hours a day versus the guy that does eight. Mm -hmm. But the guy that does eight slept well, he ate well, he trained himself, and now his eight hours are a lot more productive. Absolutely. That's a perfect way of looking at it. You know, so, yeah. and that's where I've, I've gotten to now. So we have a, a phenomenal team that has allowed that to happen. So without the team, Absolutely. there's no me. Okay, you know, so now so. you bring up the team and, bring, and working efficiently. Yeah. Do you find that when you work efficiently, better with a team? Absolutely. Or, yeah, right. A yeah, because, you know, we are, uh, 
I mean, with the team, it's, it's phenomenal. I, I always sit there, and this is with our staff and, and with our clients that come here. We sit, we talk about ideas, we bounce. I mean, it takes so much stress and load off, off just oh, the mind. Right, I can sit right. with my coaches and say, hey, we got this person. Uh, how, how do we want to work around them? Or this is what I recommend. What do you guys recommend? And I have right. four different minds sitting there telling me different things. And what mm. I do love about my team, they are not yes men. Yes, okay. men will get you killed. Yes. Uh, so you have a bunch of people around you, no matter if you're doing good or bad, they're like, oh, good job. Good job. You're doing awesome. Good right. job. I would right. prefer to have that, that one person that's critiquing me Absolutely. just like I critique my staff. And right. we do it in a positive way. We, we build each other up. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Now, nice. so with the with having the team and like you said, no yes, man, but it, 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 it can be, you know, too many chiefs. Not enough Indians. Does that ever happen? No, you know, I've been blessed to. It took me a long time to find these people. Um, I have. Uh, I found everybody that pretty much has their own niche. They're all leaders, mm, mm. but we all know our roles. We all we all bring something to the table. Um, I don't. No matter if I'm the owner, I'm not above anybody. It doesn't matter if they train here, train not here, if my they're my uh, staff or not. We are all leaders. We're all our own bosses. Right. Um, so when we all think like that. Everybody's able to bring something to the table. Absolutely. And everybody has something so great to offer. Right. Well, somebody that works as hard as you, a lot of yeah. times, I mean, I, I feel this way sometimes that, you know, if you want it done right, you gotta get it done yourself, right? Yeah. And yeah, and that was the initial way that I did think. And and, and at the time at you know, I had nobody. So yes, that's how that's that's how I had to start it. Right. Um, but you know how nice it is when you can bring your teammate in and say, Hey, we got this problem. This is how I would go about it. How would you go about it? And then right. we find this little medium income, this little medium area. Right. And oh my God, it's it, it's, it's so amazing. Yeah. Rather than working for you, they work with, with you. We which work is, together. Which is as a the team. biggest difference. Right. And we yeah. heard that right. from somebody else. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. But, uh, but that was his thing that he brought out. He goes, instead of them working yeah. for me, work with yeah. work with me. Yeah, and the thing is, if you look at all the most successful people on the planet, they have a team. No matter who they are, they might, I mean, let's take The Rock, for example, right? You, you only see The Rock, but he has an entire team yeah. that, that builds with him. I mean, you got guys driving his gyms to other places so he can get a session so in. A session There's in, a yeah. team. So no matter what, I really do believe that without a team, you cannot be successful. I agree. I agree. I agree, totally. I agree absolutely. Because, I mean, even something like this. You're this, limited. You're limited. Yeah. I mean, you know, having a partner, being able to, you know, we do this together. Not only do we motivate each other, but we're able to tackle on issues that we didn't even know like oh who do we ask how do we get how do we figure this out we right. figure it out together yeah. and you end up agreeing with certain things that we in instinctually know but being able to talk to it yeah. to talk to somebody and right. and verbalize it you, you kind of figure it out as you go so with yeah. your team uh, what who do, who's your team what does that consist right, so right now like the our main our main guys that are here throughout the day um you have our one of our coaches uh brian um, he has a, he's, he has a background in a, he's a pre-med exercise science guy. He's, he's the brain. He's a, I mean, he's an insane, intelligent guy. Um, that's what you, that's like, that's like our, our bookworm guy. Okay. Um, yeah. awesome, awesome dude. Um, I have a, another coach, uh, Mike Bonilla. Um, he's actually working on his, uh, graduate master's sports psychology right now. Shout out to you, brother. Nice. Um, nice. and he's, nice. he's working hard. He's like my guy. When I want to do something, if I have an idea that's very extreme, he will sit there and say, let's think about it a little bit more. He's my guy <laughs> okay. that lets me get, not that he stops me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but he's like, hey, I think this might be a little bit better. He's like, honestly, he's almost like the psychology guy. You know, right. he's, yeah, he's yeah. just, uh, he gets, he's the guy that tells you, hey, before you go 100 speed, maybe, what do you guys, what do you think about this? He puts out other uh, ideas. I ideas, yeah. Yeah, and then we have our other coach, uh, uh, Tish. Amazing. Uh, she has a more of a background in physique and, and she works a lot with her online protocols, um, which is really awesome. So we're able to reach out to a, a client that if they cannot make it into here, we can reach out to clients that want to train at the homes or train at other gyms or, Whoa, you know, wow. and she's amazing, uh, a super passionate uh, uh, coach. And, and I love it. And I'm around. That's the thing. I'm around all passionate people. Um, and then we have our doctor, uh, physical therapy, uh, Dr. Now. Um, he's pretty much right across the street. Any questions, calls, anything, I, I can get out, I can get with him at any time. I'm always nice. going over there. I actually did a little bit of work with him too. Um, uh, I sat and got to do a little bit of a mentorship under him. Um, I got to watch what he did with his clients. I got to help with uh, uh, prescribing some exercise. So it got me to learn a lot about people that are injured or hurt um, to even make my training program even that much more safer for long-term success. So outsourcing, not necessarily outsourcing because yeah. they're in-team, but having Dr. Now on, on deck or in, in oh your God. team like that. Amazing. You, you gain knowledge yeah. from them, but then you don't, 
yeah. do their job. Yeah, you, you exactly. Them and, to that, be them. and that's the way it should be. Um, I believe that everybody has a job and we should respect that. Yeah. It's like when one of the biggest mistakes is that in our world, you'll see this like a, let's just say we get a basketball player. The basketball player, you have the skills coach, and then you have your strength and conditioning. I would be considered your strength and conditioning coach, and then you have your skills coach. So let's just say your skills coach is the one teaching you how to shoot, the one that's teaching you how to dribble. But then what happens a lot of the times, and I think it has to do with funding and other things, but the skill coach tries to dive into the strength and conditioning world and say, oh, we're going to do this workout for this, this, and that, and ends up doing more damage than good. Right. Vice versa, the strength and conditioning coach, me putting a basketball hoop in here and say, let me see that three-pointer. That's not my, <laughs> I respect yeah. each other's professions. And right. so if somebody comes in and they have a pre-existing injury, I'm going to send them. And if it's something I don't know or I can't work with, I'm going to send them to Dr. Now. Nice. And Dr. Now, and we will work together to develop a program for that person. Um, in our world, it's, it's just, it's bad. You, you see somebody, let's just say somebody comes in hurt. Um, you know, a lot of times you get that coach and just, hey, you're fine. Uh, they look a little bit of something on Google. It must be this. Let me right. stretch your ankle out. Do you? How do you even know that? Doing more, you know more that? damage. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's like you got to have a professional with you. So I would recommend all gym owners because you're going to deal with, you're going you're gonna to have these type of people coming in. Find professionals that are skill specific in everything you need instead of that one coach trying to do everything. And I know it's hard in the beginning, but reach out. You can find reach it. Reach out. That's why I don't use and then all one soaps. Farrah's our, our dietetics. She is amazing. She's based out of New York. Um, I, uh, I've been following, a, it's called the ISSN, okay. International Society of Sports Nutrition. Right. It's a non-biased team of individuals that put out a lot of really good research that I utilize with my clientele that we've seen a lot of success nice. when it comes into uh, caloric intake, exercise, everything. I mean, it's just a, such a phenomenal pool of great people. And we work with uh, Farah and, and we get a lot of questions on nutrition that might be surpassed what I can do. Right. So Farah will right. see those people right. And, right. Uh, and give me recommendations. And it's just, I mean, she's amazing too. I mean, there's nobody on my team that I, I'm not grateful for. That's no, awesome. Yeah, and we'll go into, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, you yeah. can see the TV screen that uh, we have behind us in the background. Um, but here, here, okay, so I used to work at a gym, right? And nothing, nothing, and we talked about this before, nothing pissed me off more, okay, than when people would come in and especially older people, younger people, they come in, they, they just do their thing, they, they don't have a problem. Yeah. But it was the older people that would come in and you could tell that they were lost. You know what I mean? They didn't have any idea what to do, where to go, even how to, to do things on their own, right? Yeah. And so they'd come in and you would, you would see them, man. They just, they just would walk around. They didn't know where any of the equipment was at on anything that they wanted to do. And you would see them for a couple of weeks and guess what? Gone. They'd fall gone. right off, man. They were, they were gone. Yeah. And it frustrated me because why? Because they, they, they would continue to pay. You yeah. know what I mean? They would forget about that they had, they, they joined for that year. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> yeah. and that's what yeah. most gyms hope and pray their survival stays on is that's don't it. show. Like look at Planet yeah. Fitness, for example. Yeah. They, they'll say and sign up 80,000 members and you maybe got 200 in there. Yeah. 300. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, and they're yeah, hoping yeah. you don't show. Imagine if all 80,000 members showed. Right. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. Like, oh. but, yeah. so, so therein lies, and my point is, is that that's what separates you from, and a lot of, of, of independent gym ownerships is, is what separates you guys from the, the big box store, yeah. so to speak, gyms, is that you guys are more personalized. Yeah. You look at everybody as an individual. Yeah. They're not just a number. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. they're, they're actually somebody. And that's what yeah. that's what's huge, man. And that's yeah. what people need. So when people get a little scared when they come into to, to, to personalized gyms as far as in the price. But let me tell you what. The price is 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 no comparison to what you get. Yeah. Yeah, the value. And the you, other value. And, and yeah. I honestly I think it's a it's a it's a couple reasons for that. And I and it's a it's a whole industry thing. If you look at the the, the private setting facilities, I think a lot of coaches are making a big mistake underselling themselves. They're charging such a low price. So then when they go to a quality place and they actually have to pay for what their services are, it's like, oh my God, that's not right. That's right. not right. right. And You're a right. lot of these guys don't survive because what right. do they do? They're not selling quality first, they're selling what, who can be the cheapest? Right. Planet Fitness already has it unlocked. Right, right. Go somewhere yeah, right, else. You're right. not going to be, right. you yeah, know absolutely that. Right, and yeah. so when you're, old, when you're, you can't market the best and the cheapest in the same line. You right. just can't. Wow. Right. You know, if you look at a Ferrari, it's the best. It's not the cheapest, <laughs> it's the best. You know what I'm saying? No, so, I mean, that's a perfect point. You know, so, I like that. And oh, so, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely right. And, 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 you know, a lot of times people equate, you know, the money aspect. If it's overpriced, it, they're being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're being greedy, yeah. right? Well, in our field, it's sad because if you do, and, and I understand on, on the coach's role too, it's, it's tough. If you do charge what you're worth, you know, people will say, 
oh, this person is, uh, you know, yeah, they're greedy, they're, they're arrogant, this and that. But again, it, it also depends on what that coach's background is. What that coach is, you're paying for experience, yes. you're, you're paying for their education, um, and a lot of times this is their livelihood. And uh, it's just, again, I, I think it's a whole system set up yeah. because you do have a lot. It's a very low education entry position. If I'm in good shape mm. and I want to be like, hey, I'm going to open the uh, gym down the street, you could. There's Absolutely. nothing stopping you. Right, I, do, right. I do believe there should be more regulations for people who do open gyms. Yeah. Because let's just say that person goes sees that coach and that coach really doesn't know what's going on. That guy gets hurt. You think he's ever going to step foot in another gym again? Absolutely right, not. You've right, already right. destroyed their mental. Right. You might have taken somebody's life and changed it completely because you were careless. Right. They come in, they get hurt. You th they're never working out again. Yeah, absolutely. Guarantee. Absolutely. They're done. Absolutely. So we deal with that a lot. People come in, they're scared. They see the setting of being outdoors. They're like, oh, this has to be a CrossFit. Right, right, right. No. Right. You know, so we want to show people that we want to set a standard for right. coaches right. and the way that people should be coached. And everybody's different, Absolutely. but we want to set a standard on the industry. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, and I think we should talk about that because when we did a walkthrough initially, tell us about the system that you have that, that monitors the heart rate of each individual that's in, that's in yeah. and working out and so forth yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I, I, wanna, I want you to touch on top of that yeah. because that, that's, that's huge as far yeah. as and that's what separates this establishment yeah from a lot of other places, you know what I mean? So go ahead and talk about. And so, I mean, we work with a, a few different companies. Um, our first one that we do work with is, is uh, MyZone. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we pretty much uh, give everybody a heart rate monitor uh, upon joining our facility. And what that does is that, so say somebody's training, depending on, on their session, um, we don't have to sit there and just give a generalized, you usually say, all right, 30 seconds rest, 45 seconds rest, 15 seconds rest. One right, minute. Right, we rest right, depending right. on what their heart and intensity and everything, what's doing for them. So we're able to track intensity of the session. We're able to tra track uh, beats per minute right. of the heart. We're able to track a estimated uh, caloric expenditure, how many calories they're putting out in a session. Right. Um, and what's pretty cool is that they give us like, and, and also effort. So we can find out in a session how much effort they're putting out. And then what that does, it allows us to use that almost like as, a, as an assessment. They come in day one, the effort might not be there. I always tell everybody this, I'd rather you do too little than too much. Correct. Uh, especially in the beginning. That's um, good. That's because good. you get somebody that comes in, they work out, they can't walk for one week. Again, right. you've just wrecked. You just lost them. Yeah, yeah you yeah, lost yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, right. And they think that's how everything's gonna be. And that's yeah. not how it should be. It should right. be catered to that person. So with that system, they're also able to work out at home. They don't have to be here. Um, they get an app that they can go. So it prompts you to want to stay consistent, but you're also able to monitor and see data. Data yeah. is amazing. Oh, who who would want to see the numbers? Right. Um, they don't lie. No, they don't lie, <laughs> they don't lie. Yeah. Yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also work with a, a company which, uh, upon joining our facility, they, they're able to register for any course they want. It allows all our coaches to know who's coming. Um, and what's, what's good about that is that if I know uh, client A and B is coming, especially to like a strength and conditioning course, that session's already set up. What you have a lot of trainers doing is that, okay, this is the, we're gonna do something like this today. Right. Whoever shows up, right. shows up, and I'll right. just do whatever, the, whatever I wanna do. Right, yeah. whatever's on the board. That's it. That's, yeah. That does not sustain. Yeah. Yeah. Daily workouts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Long term, right. that is not a sustainable route, um, right. in, in my opinion. Um, and then lastly, uh, we, we work with uh, InBody, which we're able to, uh, we're an InBody scanning location where we're able to scan somebody's body, uh, get an idea of how much water is in their, in their cells, uh, weight, body fat, how much muscle, um, and we're able to go by segment of the body. So we can find out if you're, you have a weakness in the legs versus the upper body. Uh, we're also able to get an idea of inflammation. Um, so wow. we'll see if somebody has been injured previously, we get them on the scanner, their information, uh, inflammation rating will go really, really high. Um, so we're able to, there's nothing here that we can't find data on. We can, we jump test, we speed test, we have cardiovascular testing, um, and we also have body composition testing. Wow. It's all about details, in my uh, opinion. And no, and that, that, that's huge, man. That's, yeah. And that's what I said, that's what separates you from yeah. a lot of a lot of other places, man. And, and I mean, a lot of times, you know, like for example, you know, I run a studio as well, and you have to charge towards your capabilities. Exactly. Your knowledge, but your capabilities. Because yeah. it's not cheap. Yeah. Those are, I mean, that scale that we saw earlier, that, that ran a pretty penny, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So, what it's able to do for you yeah. is worth what, hey, I, I, as an owner, you put out yeah. a lot. Yeah. I mean, a lot, as you can see, a lot. Right? Yeah. It's not free. Yeah. So if I ask for 
a charge, you know, if I yeah. if I command a certain amount of money, you know, obviously it's yeah. it's not going just I'm reinvesting. So tell us the importance of reinvesting in yourself. Oh man, so I mean that's the biggest thing, and especially in business or or your passion or profession, if you're not reinvesting in yourself, it's it's dead. It's a dead business. Dead. It's a so everything comes with reinvestment, you know, right, business, right, right. school. I mean, not only are you able to, you're going to be able to give your client a better service. Mm -hmm. You're going to be more knowledgeable just in general to, you know, you'll be able to help a lot more people. Right, right. And um, I mean, I ever since I've begun this, I began this. I uh, I've constantly invested in myself. That's one thing I have not stopped. I always uh, set set something aside for. Every few months, I'm going out and learning from this guy. And, and what I do is that I, I'm a big fan of mentorship. School, you know, I, I have my bachelor's in sports med, and, and school is cool. Um, school is not for everybody, though. Okay. And you don't need school to be successful. I do believe in this field, though, you need to know the body. Um, I do believe one thing that school does show is that you're able to complete something. Mm. Um, you can start and finish something, and I think that's one of the big things. Okay, gotcha. Um, but yeah. mentorships um, is a big thing for me because it's like, say you're a coach, and I look up to you as a coach. I will call you, and it's not for free. I'm asking you, hey, uh, Mark, Coach Mark, can I uh, mentor you under uh, under you? Can you give me a price? And I want to follow you and see what you're doing. You're taking this guy's experience of maybe 20 years, yeah. and he's able to give you a week of what really, really matters and what he's seen. So yeah, I'm a man. big fan of mentorships. I've invested a lot of time in, into mentorships with some leading coaches. Uh, a lot of times it's not in this area. I have to go out further out, Orlando, Miami. I've gone out of the state. And uh, and learn from these guys. So, do you provide any kind of mentorship? To I actually do. Okay. Um, I've done a few mentorships uh, ourselves. Uh, but in this area, again, a lot of times you don't have a lot of the coaches that tend to find value in doing that. Mm -hmm. They see another coach. They see this. Uh, that might. That's probably going to be my uh, not my enemy, but more of like a competition, a, a competition instead. Yeah. For me, I want to learn what you know. That's it. Right. I want to I want to be your friend. I want to see no matter if you open here, there, 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 there's going to be there's so many people in the city growing. And no matter where you go, if you're doing the right things, you're doing it for the right reasons, you will have a following. Absolutely. That's the bottom line. Absolutely. So I want to know from you by me saying, hey, you know, that's my competition. I'm mm -hmm. actually I am uh, taking advantages away from myself from learning something that I didn't know. Right. And so that's what I'm a big fan absolutely. of reaching out to other coaches that are in areas that I absolutely love and saying, hey, do you mind? Can I mentor under you? I, I love your work. Right, right. And it right. builds a respect for coaches. I agree. I agree. Just like so. that book that uh, we read, and I do suggest a book. It's called The Science of Getting Rich. Yeah. And it's about uh, abundance for everybody yeah. and the fact that you will get wealthy and abundance and happiness yeah. out of this life by creation yeah. and not competition. Exactly. You know? So it, you depend on the perspective that you see the other person, yeah. whether if it's competition Okay, yeah. but nothing good can come from that. Yeah. But if it's creating an opportunity together, yeah. both of you guys will yeah. flourish. And, and, and you know, I don't want to get it confused here. There's always going to be competition. For sure. Like, Absolutely. let's just say yeah. somebody came out and did fourth point of view. You know, there, there's, always, <laughs> you should think somebody, there's always going to be competition. What? Absolutely. But what you need, a lot of times people tend to spend so much time watching if this person's copying them, watching this yeah. and that. Yeah. And yeah. if yeah. you're having that much time spent on that, yeah. Dude, just keep creating. That's just it. keep creating. That's it. And and no lie, you know, like when I first started this, there wasn't a lot of this stuff around. No. When I, it was pretty it empty. It was a yeah. couple of our guys. Yeah. There was a couple of them. I would have to say uh, it was me, myself, a guy named Phil DeRue and a uh and a guy named Nick. And and shout out to all these guys. Right. Uh and that's the only guys I heard of at right. the time. And right. now there's I mean it's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody has a little bit of themselves in all these places now. I mean, For because sure. they're Absolutely. a lot of times it, these guys took the to edge to start, right. start you know, start something. For and, sure. And so I'm a, like I said, I'm a big fan uh, of of learning. Absolutely. I, I've especially in this area. I mean, like I said, I, I've tried to find things in this area, but it's it learn, keep learning. Yeah, yeah, keep yeah. learning and, and growth. And over time, yeah. you know, things you know, and, and like you said, it's just funny you bring up like if someone were to bring up a fourth point of view. Yeah. This, yeah. But you can learn from exactly. what are they doing right. Maybe yeah. we could make each other better, yeah. whatever the case may be. No, I mean, competition's amazing. Yeah. You know, I, I, you have someone like LeBron and Dwayne Wade. That's friendly competition. Yeah. They're on opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. They played together at one point, and then they stopped playing together, yeah. and they still compete. Yeah. But they found that level. How do you feel competition? I, I, you know, the thing is, like, without competition, and and like you were saying, if it wasn't for the Dwayne Wade or LeBron, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be elevated to go that much harder. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so yeah, competition yeah, yeah. will always make you better. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've had, you know, 
different people trying to open up facilities and, and next to us and do this and that. But you know what's beautiful about it is that we all coach differently. We're all different people. Yeah. So the way that you guys would, you know, you guys do an interview is going to be different from a different interview yeah. and, and vice yep. versa. Right. So everybody has something great to offer. Yeah. Um, and again, if you're happy, I was going to say something. Cut that one. Yeah, I was going to say, if you open up next door, it's going to kill you. Man. You know? No, no, man. no, no, no. no but I don't want to say it on there, but that's how no, I feel. Like, if you, and this is the thing. I do have that mindset, that kill mentality, though. If you do open up in my area, I will choke your space. Absolutely. And, and, absolutely. and, and so and there's, a, there's a limit to that. That's, right, that's like right. your studio's there and somebody wants to open up a studio next to you, oh, yeah. you're not going to breathe. Absolutely. You know what absolutely. I'm saying? Right. But if you're outside of a five, ten mile radius from us and you're doing your thing, hey. Uh, you know, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. and so that, that's what it comes down to. I agree. With I, I love competition. It's, I, it's good for the soul. So. It is. It is. It inspires you. I mean, when you see, I mean, you go to the gym yeah, and you exactly. see someone lifting hard, you're like, and you, you got your headphones on, yeah. and you're like, oh, wait, mm, I'm going to get them. five pounds. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's motivating, you know, no malice yeah. to it. So yeah. I like how you eloquently yeah. put that. That, yeah. that, that competition yeah. is necessary. Yeah. It, is. it is necessary. Yeah. Um, but use the right way, you know? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. With everything that you have, man, um, what kind of type of clientele you, do you want to yeah. do you want to see, or do you want to? Yeah. So our our type of clientele, honestly, is going to be the the more long term client, the client that takes their training seriously, that they know for a fact this is going to be part of their lifestyle for a, a long time. This is not a uh, quick weight loss center or a quick mm. muscle gain center. This is learn a skill. Um, honestly, too, if you look at our our facility page on, on Facebook at the X House and you check in here, it's actually going to check in as education. So we, yeah, yeah. So um, we teach a lot here. We take a lot of our because again, if you have a bunch of knowledge and education, you're not passing it on. It's worthless. Absolutely. Right. And so Absolutely. we want to teach people about their bodies. We want to teach people why they're moving the way they're moving. We want to teach people how they should feel. We want to teach people on a well-balanced lifestyle. We wanna teach people on the guidance on, on how to eat for themselves, right. you know? Uh, we tend to stay, again, there's, there's a, a, a saying that we like to use, uh, especially nutrition. If a diet has a name, it's probably bullshit. Wow, so, that's true. Yeah. I like that, because like like it's true. Yeah. Like, like, and, yeah. so, and, and, and that's another thing, we, wow. you know, so it's every, it comes down to well-balanced. If your coach or your, your dietitian or your doctor is not saying well-balanced, there's something wrong. now. I mean, it needs to. It's well balanced for that individual. You know what I'm saying? Right, um, right. So we're we're a big uh, big fan of that. We tend to stay away from uh, single methodologies as well. And, and what I mean by single methodology is where somebody comes in and like, oh, this is a powerlifting gym. That is a single methodology. That's cool. You have a community for that. Absolutely. But now yeah. you've just pulled yourself out of the pool to help a bunch of other people. There's so right. many more people that don't like powerlifting right. that does that right. do. Now, if that's your niche, that's fine. But us in general. We do not want to tie ourselves to a single methodology. Right. In the same concept, it's like I only interviewed, you know, say if we only interviewed one type of person. Right, right. Now right. it's like, yeah, there's some of those people, For sure. but there's hundreds of thousands of people that are not like that. So we right. want to make sure that we're, we're catered to the person that is an athlete, wants to train like one, um, and, and somebody that likes science, because we love science, and That's we like to I spread love. the science yeah, and, nice. and get people to learn. That's, That's what nice. I love about this. Yeah. Now, if you have somebody, like, let's go into like a particular person, if someone mm -hmm. who just wanted to be more flexible, stretch the body, you know, and things like that, you know, yoga and things of that yeah. nature. Do you guys provide like a service? So, and, you know, and that's the thing. So in our sessions, we actually uh, do a lot of dynamic warm up stretches. We we get people opened up and, and stretching to me uh, is like a door. So if I open and close that door, and nothing touches your flexibility is probably pretty good. If that door grinds against the hinges, you might be a little too tight. And if it doesn't pull in and out, you might be a little too loose. So, again, stretching is not for everybody. If I have somebody that's already coming in hypermobile and I'm stretching them out without knowing their body, Am I doing more damage than good? Does everybody need to stretch? No. So we have to take every person individualized and find out what works for them. Wow. But what happens is a lot of times, you know, in, in our, and just say in general, somebody does a dynamic warm up, what do they do? They half ass the dynamic warm up and then they go to the next extreme. I need to do yoga. But have you really been doing any of the dynamic stretches that are involved with your program already? Right. right. So they automatically want to skip the stuff that it's just like, in general, Americans, yeah. it's either I don't do it at all or I go to the furthest yeah. extreme. There's no uh -huh. middle point. Yep. So let's just say yeah. there's some dynamic warm up in there. Do them properly. Take the time to do it if it's part of your program every day. And you probably wouldn't need yoga. Do I have anything against yoga? Absolutely not. Gotcha. Yeah. But again, it's a single methodology that a lot of times with people, if they just did what they were supposed to do, they might not need. need that, that, now, that, I know a lot of people that are in yoga and other programs that have a lot of success. I'm not taking away from these programs. But when you have somebody, let's just say I'm training them, and let's just say I had a which thank God we don't deal with a lot, but let's just say I had somebody do a dynamic warm up and they were just, hey, not even really 
putting focus in their stretches right. or anything like that. Yeah. And then they go, hey, I might need yoga, I'm tight. Right. But have you gave a balance you, right, a try? Right, right. Have you? See, no, you now, haven't. Now, that, well, how many times do you see a client that thinks they know what they need and then the science shows that they something actually different. need something different. How yeah. often does that happen? You know, um, I, I've been really grateful to have, I've gotten to work with some really awesome people and I think that's why the, the assessment is so important. So we get to know. Um, I think also too, it depends on how the coach comes off. If you're coming off like an ass and arrogant yeah. and everybody responds to things different. Yeah, right. So if I sit here and I say, hey, uh, hey man, you know you're doing that wrong. Right. How are you gonna take that? Right. But if I sit there and assess with them and I figured out what makes them tick, what makes them click, I can get that message across. It's called a buy-in in a different way for each individual. So I'm able to have a psychological advantage because I get to know my client with an assessment to find out how I'm going to express this message. So every session is different every, with every person that comes to Yeah, you. and every session's different. There is a baseline. Um, we have them across the board. So no matter what you do, in movement, there's gonna be some type of squat, lunge, twist, push, pull, bend, and gait pattern, no matter what you do. So we wanna make sure that that's the baseline. And before we load people up and do all this stuff, we wanna make sure those mechanics are done correctly. Okay, because no matter what you do in the gym, one of those are getting done. Gotcha. So we wanted to make sure that we're able to teach those, so let's just say they're not here anymore, they're able to stay consistent. And that's one of our biggest things that people tell us is that, say they move, on, they move, they do this and that, they're like, hey, they'll always message our coaches, hey, I wanna thank you, I've learned so much, I'm able to do this on that cruise, I'm able to, <laughs> to, to do this here, I'm able, I'm over in college now, and I'm able to do this now, my squat, and they're, we are getting our clients to actually, they're able to analyze things that don't look right now, right, because right. they know it, right. and it's a beautiful right. thing. And when you build a base, and develop it, it's so much easier than bringing somebody in, throwing them into a class and say, hey, uh, take that barbell, put it on your back. And then you're just like, right. that yeah. is a creating right. for destruction. Absolutely. Long term, they Absolutely. don't learn that way. Absolutely. And I don't want a bunch of zombies here. I want people that know what they're doing and why they're doing what they're doing. I want them to feel Absolutely. confident in what they're doing. Confidence right. is huge. Absolutely. You know, so. Yeah. I understand why you are labeled as education. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. You're, so. you're leaving here because like, with the body, you can work out, work out, work out, but if you stop, it goes. No. But when you know something, it stays. Exactly. And and so that that's big. You're, they're yeah. actually leaving with something permanent. And then what that does, it 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 trickles down. You teach that person something, what are they gonna do? They're gonna yeah. teach that person something, and that's exactly. gonna teach that person something. And now you've created an environment which is all about learning and growing uh, physically and mentally, you know? So it's... You're, you're yeah. a living example of how giving value to others, you will be taken yeah. care of. Yeah. yeah, you know, the universe is definitely just walking in yeah. here. I'm like, wow, yeah. from the last time I was here, yeah, yeah. which I was already impressed, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, and, and that was probably like five years yeah. ago. And yeah. I can't, it, it looks almost totally different. Yeah, we wanted to kind of do a setting that you don't typically see in yeah. the area. Um, we wanted to do a setting that, and that is open. We wanted to have a setting where we could teach people how to move. We can't just bring in, uh, every time somebody comes in here, somebody can't just like sit on something and do it. Yeah. You have to teach them, they have to learn it. They have to learn it. So we wanted to make sure, and there's, again, when I talk about these things, yeah. do I think there's something wrong with uh, training on a equipment? No, uh, I absolutely don't. Yeah. But for me and my passion for our coaches, we wanna be able to teach our client something. And also too, because again, that client that leaves here, they might not always have accessibility to uh, a, a, a big piece of equipment, but they'll always have accessibility to some dumbbells, right. to some barbells, you know what I'm saying? So we want to make sure that they're doing those movements correctly. So if they don't have access, they're able to stay consistent. Absolutely. We don't want them to leave here and just give up on everything. Right. And Absolutely. like, oh man, I didn't learn nothing there. And that's what happens a lot of times. They do, they work out with somebody for a long, long time. They leave and then it, it's gone. It's gone. And, it's, yeah. they you know, don't, and a lot of yeah. times in life, it's, it's, it's harder to go back to something or to, to get back into, into something than it was yeah. what it was to start in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. To, to, to re to re get it, re get that drive. When you, know? when you don't pick up a weight for let's yeah. say you know uh, six months, and then that same weight that used to be light is heavy, yeah. you're 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 not motivated yeah. anymore. Yeah, and that's the and that and that's fine. It happens. Everybody goes up. I mean, everybody goes through ups and downs. Right. I think right. the big mistake is that people tend to try to jump right where they left off. Right. Just Correct. take your time back in it because right. just as long it took you to get a little fat again and and a little 
you're going to have to build it back up. You didn't right. get fat overnight. Right. You didn't get weaker overnight. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Right. And just like right. you didn't get strong overnight, it and takes time. time. So give right. it the time. If you know this is a lifelong journey, and that's why I'm a big fan of this, you're not going to rush back. You're not going to have to say, oh my God, I got to like April 1st to, you know, hurry up and get this going. And, right. and that's where the injuries come in. You're, right. you're rushing the process. Don't Absolutely. rush it. Absolutely. You know, so you got to enjoy the ride. There was a, bu- a book I read called The Energy Bus. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that, but no, it's a no. phenomenal book. Okay. And it talks about just enjoying the ride. They use the, uh, they use the bus as a uh, like a signal for a lot of things. Like this person gets on the bus and enjoying the ride and everything that comes with it. I yeah. like that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the energy good. bus. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Okay. Energy bus. I'm, I'm gonna put the link we'll below. Put the link. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. How important would you say the mind is oh when it God. comes to fitness yeah. and and just you yeah. know getting in here? Because your mind seems pretty sound. Yeah. So uh, all over the facility, and which we'll show you, um, there's different sayings on on our walls, and our one of the big four is uh, movement. Nutrition, recovery, and it's, it's mindset, it's movement, nutrition, recovery. Uh, we have them behind the doors and we have them all over the walls. And uh, it's huge because everything starts from the mind. The bodybuilding world has that unlock. Mm-hmm. Bodybuilders, they'll sit there and like some of the physique prep guys, I have to give a shout out to that. You see the guys, they're focusing on the muscle group. They feel the stretch. Mm-hmm. They're going through the movements. They, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. the mind-muscle connection is all over bodybuilding. Right. And you look at their bodies. Yeah, yeah. You know, so right. again, it's mind muscle connection. So it starts with mindset and, and shout out to my coach, Mikey. Again, he, he's working on his, uh, he's right now is at Barry University uh, doing his sports psychology. I'm so happy with some of the stuff he's bring, he brings back and just some of the cognitive performance uh, tools that we utilize here uh, is insane. Um, the mind is everything, the way that you react uh, to a certain stimulus. And, and so the way that you even just show up to the gym, um, you know, if, if you're coming in with a, a positive mindset, positive things are gonna happen, right. you know? So right. if I'm walking around, head down, posture's kind of hunched over, feeling yeah. kind of crappy, usually a lot of bad things happen. That's right. the days you catch all the red lights, your, your boss talks <laughs> a little shit to you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You already know how it goes. It, it, tr- it follows, it's just what it is. Right. But you right. sit there, and I went, to a, uh, I went to a Tony Robbins convention in West Palm. I love it was called, Tony Robbins. Yeah, it was called Unleash the Power Within. I did the whole four day thing and the fire walk. And, wow. And okay. one thing that he said that was really interesting that stuck to me, he said, you can't, he said, uh, you, ca- you can't uh, complain and be grateful at the same time. So um, meaning that anytime you're feeling like something's not going your way, just think about a couple things you're grateful for. Yeah. Because one's gonna have to mass, uh, take one out. So if I sit here, I'm like, yeah, I'm not having a good day, but hey, I get to do what I love. Yeah. I get to do this, this and that. I'm alive, I'm healthy. Guess what happened to all that negativity? Exactly. Is it going to disappear forever? No, no, but it helps a lot. Right. So yeah. anytime yeah. you're going through something that, and we all do, including myself, you're going through something that's a little tough, just think about all the things you're grateful for. We Absolutely. tend to forget that. Absolutely. We get to live yeah, yeah. And, and, and do a dream here in the USA, and uh, in, in my opinion, we don't have sure. to wake up to, uh, uh, to just to survive to live. Right. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. There's some countries yeah. that, and you know, you know how it goes, but mm-hmm. there's some countries that they wake up to just live to the end of the day. Yes. And people never yeah. think of that. And right. we tend to forget that sometimes. Absolutely. And, uh, we were having that yeah. discussion. Take it for, take it for granted. Yeah. We were just we having do. that discussion in the yeah. car on the way here yeah. is that we're, at the end of the day, we're in America. Yeah. Thank God for that first and foremost. Yeah. yeah. And there's so many other things. I mean, we live like kings. We have yeah. lights, yeah. running water. Yeah. Indoor yeah. plumbing. <laughs> Indoor plumbing. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's yeah. like, like those, <laughs> those things. I mean, and you look, I mean, you have your arms, your legs, you have, yeah. like, wow. You know, yeah. and then you see people Let's say they're yeah. missing their arms and legs, but they're accomplishing yeah, yeah. So, so much more much. because yeah. they realize what they're still grateful for. Okay, right. man, you know, okay, yeah. but man, there's still so much. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm glad you said that because that, that means a lot. And I, I hope a lot of people realize that. Yeah. It, it's cool because you inspire a lot of people. I'm not sure if yeah. you're really aware. I know they yeah. tell you every day how yeah. much you inspire them. But there's so many people that don't yeah. tell you that yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. Um, you're, 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 you're very motivated. Yeah. Um, I remember one time I, I, I seen you jogging down US one in the midst of all of this, yeah. holding five, six classes yeah, yeah, yeah. a day. Where'd you get that? Where was where that seed that made you yeah. this way? How'd you yeah. get that way? Uh, honestly, I, I just think it's lifestyle. I've always, had, I've always had to work hard since I was a kid. Uh, you know, I, I was actually in the Share of Explorers program. At, at, I used to work with my father doing tiles and stuff. I, I always had this work ethic. Um, and then from there, I got my first job at Publix at 14, bagging, and then I, I left for the military at 17. and. And so, you know, my family, I would have to give that all to my, 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 my father and my mother. I mean, both of them veterans as well. And, uh, and even my father, uh, when he was sick, he, he passed away last year, so rest in peace. But he, he, even with cancer to the last days, he came in here and trained. 
Wow. You don't see that a lot. Wow. And so it opened up my eyes for, you know, like, my God, I got to see that. And right. to me, that, ins- that was probably one of my biggest inspirations. But again, I think a lot of people don't feel like they can do it. Right. And they can. And a huge thing, I think, is your circle. And if I am around you two guys, which are also inspiring people uh, yourselves, but if I'm around, if I'm around you guys, and I'm feeling a down down, I might say, "Hey, Mark, Mark, uh, mm-hmm. I'm not feeling it today." And you're like, "Hey, man, come on, let's do this." Absolutely. Your yeah. circle is so damn important, and that's yes. why, like, even as a kid, your your parent would be like, "Yo, watch who you hang with," because it's yeah. true. Yeah. It is true. Uh, yeah. It's true. <laughs> your friends will show yeah. you who you are. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. didn't talk about that in the past, and that, yeah. that's that's a, a, a huge point, man. Yeah. You're yeah. absolutely right. Absolutely right. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, and so they had this saying, "Lights attract lights," you know. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah. If, and just like you're saying, if yeah. I'm around that environment, yeah, right. and it's your choice ultimately right. to to put yourself in that environment, yeah. you're gonna, you know, you're gonna pick yourself up. And so I, I think your circle is a huge thing. Yep. Passion is a huge, huge thing. You got to have a mission. You can't just, <laughs> and you got to have an end. You got to not an end goal, but you got to have goals. Like if you're just sitting here, I'm just gonna train people. Okay, what's next? Right. Right. You got to have something. You got to develop a plan. You got to have something, or you're just going. They they have the same what you're going fast nowhere. Yes, you're going yeah, nowhere yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> you got to have some type of game plan. And ultimately, what I've realized, it has attracted people with that same mindset to me. Yeah, right. And right. you know, so right. people that right. already come in here kind of get an idea of who I am. Yeah. So I don't have to really deal with a lot of craziness. I'm, I'm right. dealing with people that are like minded. Right. You Absolutely. know. So, Absolutely. And, and so it's it's really it's really awesome to see. So I mean that that was like my biggest drive. I would have to say, uh, uh, family, the passion to get there, and uh, you know, just just we get one life to live, and I don't want to be older later on and say, man, I, I wish I would have done what this if? and took right. that chance. Fears of fears of. A B, bro. Yeah. Fear, fear yeah. holds people back. A lot, yeah. You, you know? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And, I mean, fear is a scary thing. It is. And there's so many people throughout their life that they've always, they just couldn't break that fear. Yeah. The unknown is scary. Fear is scary. These things, these things tend to get people to fall back a little bit. Sure. And I tended to be like, hey, you know what? I got to put myself out there. Not care what people think. You're gonna, no matter yes. what decisions you make, right. you're gonna have a crowd that loves it and a crowd right. that hates exactly. it. You have to realize no, 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 that. Matter, no matter what, yeah, yeah, no matter yeah, yeah. what, what, yeah, yeah. what yeah. you so, do, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as long as you're doing things with great intentions and your goal is truly trying to help somebody, wow. great things are gonna happen. Absolutely. But well, usually I, the negative people that, that say something neg- negative about it, they're jealous. Is you yeah. only absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Because absolutely. you're doing it and yeah. because you're not. Exactly. You'll never, exactly. you'll, you'll never see somebody who, who's doing great sit there and yeah. down somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't see it, you know, and you're yeah. absolutely right that, you know, when you do great things with great intentions, with passion, the people and the right people come around yeah. and, and, and that energy, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. And if absolutely. they're a good person, they're going to lift you up. That's true. Yeah. As far as with positive feedback and absolutely. positive vibes, yeah. period, you know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's what positive people do. Yeah. It's all in all. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. That's amazing yeah. to see. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's great to see. But it. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go. I was going to say, isn't it funny, though, out of, out of you know, the, the interviews that we have done and so forth, it, it's funny how everybody has that one thing in common, man, and it's yeah. a positive mindset, yeah. it's yeah. drive, yeah. Yeah. it's dedication, yeah. it's passion. Right. Which right. Is, which is so funny, man. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's funny when we sit here and talk to all you guys that, that it, it's, it's it, un- uncanny, man. I mean, it's... it's right. And, and, and I'm happy that you guys are developing this platform for this because, again, and like you guys said, you guys interview these people like this, and I feel like these are the type of people that we need to... Yes, absolutely. Get, but we tend not to. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Right. It, it's, so, <laughs> yeah, it's almost yeah, like yeah. that small yeah. business yeah, yeah. Uh, click. So because you right. know you need that to make it out there. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because there's no way absolutely. for you to survive out there. You open up a business and you're not passionate, you got six months to live right. probably. Right. If that, right. Right. You know? Absolutely. You're not going to make it. You know? And, yeah. and, and you need those type of characteristics and traits to, to develop something. Absolutely. You know, so I, Absolutely. yo, it's insane. I, I agree with you guys completely. Yeah, so. I, and you know what? And I, and I hope everybody watching this understands that everybody on here is to create that community. Exactly. Uh, uh, that's uh, a perfect uh, word is community. It's, it's a community. small business coalition, so to yeah. speak. Absolutely. Everybody kind of gets yeah. that idea. Cause we can like, hey. all rise together yeah, and right. it's not taking anything from us. Yeah. If anything, we all have something to gain from each other. Right. Right. By helping each other. And I mean, as you know, it feels great to give your gift. Yeah. Yes. You know, it feels great. Yeah. So the competition is friendly to inspire us to work harder, yeah. but we still can work together and be in competition Absolutely. at the same exact time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, because in a sense, we're all giving each other a platform to, to, you know, not only be better, but also to provide 
Absolutely. Uh, something for for people yeah. out there. You Absolutely, because like you were even saying, you that uh, you know this is primarily fitness and education and science. That's your thing. Yeah. Uh, but you you know you're smart in other fields, and you you right. know you even do some film yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and things. But you go and talk to somebody who does that. Now you're no direct competition because you said I'm fitness, you film, but you can learn from each other. You guys created that bond. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. we all can learn from each other through our different right. fields. Hey. That may not be my thing, but there's a lot of things you know that I would love to learn. And, and that's, the, that's the key you know? to I ultimately, um, and it, it's crazy. I don't know uh, if you guys, did you guys ever watch a show back in the day called Mega Man? It was a cartoon. Oh, of course. It was like one of my favorite of cartoons. So, it was like, <laughs> so I always ask people this, right? And they never know what I'm talking about. And Mega Man, I use a Mega Man mentality. And what I mean by Mega Man mentality is that Mega Man had this little cannon on his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to play like it on games and all that. But what happens with Mega Man is that Mega Man would go through a level, it's a video game by the way, in a show, and it was yeah, a cartoon, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I used to play like on a video game, and, and, and Mega Man would go through like, let's just say level one. Each level had their boss. So Mega Man would come in there, to, you know, go in the level, get to the boss, beats right. the boss, and right. then when he beats the boss, he would take that boss's power, okay? Mm. And I utilize that mindset that I, not that I'm taking nobody's power, but I'm taking some of the knowledge that they've taught me, and I'm taking that to get to the next level. Right. So then he would go to level two with the level one's boss and everything he had. He beat level two boss, now he's level one's boss, level two's boss, and now he's going to level three. And so I use yes. that mentality to, to elevate. So I, I, I try to learn from all the great people, and I use that mentality and take in as much, I, I'm a sponge, and yes. then I use that to kind of create my own twist, you know? Yeah, like absolutely. I, you know, so I, I create my own twist twist with this with the knowledge of so many others that I was able to attain. Absolutely. You know? so. yeah, the, the mentor. So it's basically like, and I love how you said the Mega Man, <laughs> yeah. Mega Man thing, because yeah. I, I played a bunch of Mega Man Mega games. Mega Man was the truth. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, with the little candy. But it's funny because you use what you you learn from a challenge yeah. or somebody, like a mentor or something yeah, like yeah. that. And that's why I agree with something you had said previously about, you know, you're not against school, neither am I, yeah. but I feel like it's, it's yeah. not a necessary step yeah. for the simple fact that I could work at Publix and work my way up yeah. because I'm learning from the person above me. Yeah. Correct. And then not that we're in competition that yeah. I'm trying to take your job, yeah. but eventually if you do your thing, you'll move up and yeah. there'll be a space available for yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. and from what you learn. So with everybody learning from, there's always going to be somebody that knows yeah, yeah. more. Yeah. You just keep progressing. I mean, this is... Uh, an yeah. example of that, yeah, yeah. you know, of, of learning. So the Mega Man mentality is something that I'll always equate to <laughs> Trainer Vic, man. That, that's a that's a yeah. great one, man. I like that. I Appreciate love that. <laughs> so, yo, Trainer Vic, it was definitely a pleasure sitting down with you, chopping it up. I mean, you have a beautiful establishment. Thank you. Project X is definitely Thank going so in, in in the right direction, man. I appreciate so it. we really appreciate you uh, sitting down Thank with you. us again. One Take more time, time, let them know what the uh, the uh, Instagram handle. All right, so uh, my, my, my private page is going to be at Trainer Vic, okay? So, and that's two Ks at the end. And then our facilities page is going to be at the X House, uh, as well as our Facebook is at X House Fit. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Nice. Nice. And if you guys want to stop by and take a look at what he's got and what he has to offer, please stop by and, uh, and, and take a look at it. And your address here is? 1418 Southeast Huffman Road. Fort St. Lucie, Florida, 34952. We are right at the opening of the new Crosstown Bridge. Nice, perfect, nice. perfect, perfect. So as always, guys, thank you so much for, for everything. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, uh, as, uh, as always. And we thank you again for everything. And uh, as you. always, peace. peace. Thank you. All right, brother. All right, man. Thank you, thank you so much, man. Guys. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.